Okay, let's start breaking this one down. We are in the key of C. Um, and as you saw in the intro there, the little um, melody line I was playing was using the A minor pentatonic. So um, relative minor of C. We're in standard tuning, standard time. Let's have a look at these chords. Um, only four for the entire progression. So C major seven, one chord. E7, normally a minor as the three, but we're playing it as a dominant here. F major seven. There's your four chord, and then D minor nine, which is your two. Um, let's look at the arrangement before we head over to the guitar. So pretty straightforward. As you can see, we're, we're just playing whole notes or semi-briefs here. So nothing too crazy with the rhythm, um, but we do have some variation over in the fourth bar here. So we can see the D minor nine is not being played on the, on the one beat. It's coming in a bit later. And we can also see that there's some variation in its rhythm as well as timing so we'll talk a bit a bit more that bit more about that as we go through the lesson um but let's uh take a look at these chords on the guitar so we're going to be playing a c major seven on the third fret bar okay you're going to move that up to the seventh fret for our e7 and then up a fret for your f major seven And then down to the fifth fret for your D minor nine. And we just repeat around again. So practice those chords in that order and those transitions. Okay, and then um, you'll be able to be playing along with the track um, or with this chord chart. Um, let's look at the timing, yeah? Uh, let me just zoom out a little bit here. So we've got um, it's four beats, four beats. F major seven, four beats, and then we're tying it to a minim. Um, in fact, here's a little bit tricky because we can see it's a semi-quaver. Let's leave the intro, we'll come back to that one. Okay, the timing is slightly different for each line. Okay, so that's something um, that you should definitely bear in mind. Um, so let's start from the verse, okay? So four beats, four beats, four beats, and then we let that continue into the fourth bar for another two and a half beats. Yeah, we've got our quaver there. And then D minor nine's coming in on the end of the three. Okay, so let me play it from the F major seven. One, two, oh, sorry. Let's put a metronome on. One, two, three, four. One, and two, and three, and four, and. Okay, so on the end of the three. Okay, next line, everything's the same. Um, and the timing's the same, actually, in terms of we come in on the end, but we play the bass note. Um, of the D minor 9, so on the A string, followed by the chord. Okay, so the, let's hear how that sounds from the F major 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, and 2, and 3, and... Okay, so let me play that uh, on the guitar. Okay, I find it very useful to, to look at it on the chart first, and then to transfer over this to the guitar. Okay, so... Um, let's do that now and then we'll we'll come back here. So uh, from your F major 7, okay, let's just work on this timing change and then I'll play it all the way through. So from your F major 7, you're going 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and 1. And then it starts again. Okay, so and then the second time around, we're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. Okay, so that's the rhythm there. Just use your ear, yeah, and it will sound right. Okay, let me play those two lines um, with with a count, and it should it will make sense too. Okay, from the top, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four is the last bar. One, two. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay, so what I say here is you could play the entire song just like that and you'll be fine. Just alternate um, every time with every line, starting from your verse. Um, because if we look through here, 
you so you start off with on the and that's in your verse yeah and then you go to bass to treble okay and then the next line it becomes your pre-chorus okay so so eight bars for your verse in the pre-chorus you, it's only one line so you end up playing the end of the three for your d minor nine and then the chorus starts so the first line of the chorus you play your bass your treble this is how it is in the song okay then the second line of the chorus it will just be the end of the the three so again it's just alternating um then we go into a post chorus okay and this is where the timing changes so if you want just continue with the alternating alternating uh, rhythm um, but let me talk about the timing that's on the D minor 9 for the post chorus and also for the intro okay so if we look a bit closer if I zoom in here um, we'll see that um, for this line we can see this equaver right so half a beat but here we're actually playing a semiquaver so a quarter of a, beat, of a beat and that basically means that the D minor 9 is going to come in a quarter of a beat earlier than it would do so not on the end of the three but the E of the three okay and if that doesn't make sense to you then um, what what, we, what we're using here is 16th note terminology okay when we break the chord into eight pieces eighth note one and two and three and four and that works when we're landing on the, the, the beat or off the beat but when we're going in between okay we're going to have split into to, uh, 16 pieces so one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a and this chord is now going to be played on the e of the three Okay, so let me play, actually play from the F major 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a. Okay, so you heard it was on the 3 E. Yeah, not the 3 E and. You don't play on the end, you play a quarter of a bit earlier now on the E. I'm hope, I hope you're with me on this one, okay? So um, that happens on the intro and that also happens on the post chorus. Um, which is here okay and the only other piece to it then is going to be the uh, let me zoom out the outro and it just goes back to the bass the chord and then you play the one chord at the end so I mean that's pretty much it guys that is the entire song I would definitely suggest grabbing the chord chart um, it is I just find it's just the, the best way for learning and remembering songs being able to see it visually, being able to play it back is massive. Um, so these chord charts, if you have the Guitar Pro app, you can actually highlight certain sections, put the metronome in, speed it up, slow it down. If you wanna grab the chord chart, head over to um, my Patreon page, the link's in the description. Just a dollar will give you access to literally my entire library. So that's hundreds of chord charts um, and it will be a great way for you to support my work. So enough talking. Um, I hope everything made sense. If you have any questions, as always, leave a comment in the description. Let me know if you like the, the format and the style of this video. And hopefully I shall see you again soon. Take care.